Hello. Today I want to do a wee bit of DIY. <laughs> These vases, vases, vases. I also have this. This is from Madeline. Um, I I bought this when we first moved into this house with the intention of having it as a fruit bowl, but. I then went and bought another fruit bowl that we actually use, so I don't know what the situation is with this. And then my baking powder. So I like to take just a teaspoon. Roughly, roughly two and a half to start with. I'm going to just give that a bit of a mix and you'll already see it starting to go gritty and of course that you can add in as much as you want, as least as you want. Okay, so you can definitely see it starting to look kind of clay-like. So I'm going to add in <laughs> a wee bit more. And usually, it obviously depends what colour that you're wanting to paint over but usually it takes about two coats so it does i would say because this is like a really nice petal pink peel pink i would say maybe about three coats will do it and then with the black maybe four coats but we'll see so i like to just give it a nice rough coat to start with it's very foamy Okay, so that's basically one coat done. I'm gonna let that dry. I wanna make sure to let the pot dry in between coats, because it just means that come the second coat, it's gonna be more, more full coverage and you're not going to be applying the paint and maybe taking off the first layer. So you wanna make sure that it's um, fully dry, the first coat before applying the second. And it also doesn't need to look perfect. That's also what I love about it. Like you're not necessarily going to see, if any, brush strokes because of the texture that it, the finish is going to be. It's going to be like that really nice rustic, rough stone looking finish. So it doesn't need to be perfect in terms of like the, the bristles, like the marks of the bristles. How am I going to move this out of the way? <laughs> Didn't think that one through. It's been half an hour and they're still not dry. This one's nearly dry, but I lifted it and dunked my finger. So this is optional, but this is the way I like to finish it. You can keep it obviously like this. It's still nice the way it is, like that type of finish. I'm not too sure how much you can actually see, but I like to take a wee sponge and just dip into the paint a wee bit and give it a bit of a sponge finish to give it more of a rougher, kind of rustic finish. <laughs> don't like to apply too much but just you can kind of see there what I mean So you see what I mean, the way the sponge just gives it that extra bit of roughness to the finish of it. And then I'm just going to leave that because as you can see there's still a shine coming off it so it's not dry yet. So I'm just going to leave that. I don't have time for that. <laughs> and I just want to show you what I'm actually wanting to put in this wee vase. So I bought these, I think they're 
olive tree branches. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I just got three of these. They're obviously wee fake ones. I usually like to have real plants and real flowers everywhere in my house, but sometimes wee fake ones are just handy to have. I kind of wish that this was bigger, like the pot was actually bigger, because I love really big vases, vases with like wee branches like this. I just think it looks really, really nice. So I'm not sure. We'll try it for now and then I think I'm actually going into town tomorrow. I'm going into a couple of charity shops. Um, I'm actually vlogging at the minute. So if I remember, I'll hopefully vlog it and I hope to find a couple of like wee bits and pieces and stuff. But I'm going to mainly look for a couple of vases, like really big ones that I could potentially use these for. I think these are really, really nice actually. These are just from Amazon. I obviously had to just buy them individually. We have three options. Put the vase here, take the statue head away and put it somewhere else, maybe here. Um, and having the vase there or having the vase in this corner. I'm not too sure what to do. Or having it at the side of my bed. So I'm like, can you not? <laughs> can you? Get down! Oh no, she's gonna think I'm playing. Oh. Mm. Fucking hell! Right. So I think I'm gonna keep them here. I'm gonna keep them here for now. And I would say in the next couple of days, maybe a week, I'll get sick of it. I'll think of somewhere else to put them. But it's not necessarily about the the olive twigs, for the love of God. But it's the pot. <laughs> so what do you think? The finish of it is beautiful. It looks so much nicer now. It definitely is more of a creamy colour in person. But look how nice it is. I love it. So, so pretty. It honestly looks more, in my opinion, it does look so much more expensive now. And it has a really nice touch and feel and finish and look and everything to it. Absolutely love it. But yeah, um, I can see here that I've missed a couple of bits at the bottom. But I can obviously touch that up whenever I'm finishing the, like, the fruit bowl. But yeah, honestly, like, this is what I love doing with so many, like, wee pots and stuff. Like, this plant pot here um this is just a ceramic white and i just sprayed it gold um but yeah you could honestly use like any color of paint that you have in storage or anything i could have used the green from the skirt boards or the architrave or the walls or anything but this color of paint is the color that's on the wall there but yeah nice 